Are you tired of FPS drops, lag spikes, and stutters in CS2? In this video, I'm showing you the ultimate 2025 guide to max out your CS2 performance. Whether you're on a low-end or high-end PC, this will boost your FPS, fix stutters, and make your game buttery smooth. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Optimizing Windows using the Storage Sense settings. First, you need to open the system settings on your computer and type Storage Sense in the search bar. After that, click on Storage Sense and make sure you turn it on. This will help your system by automatically deleting extra files that are not needed and can slow down your PC. Then go to the option called Configure Cleanup Schedules and set it to run every day. Also, set it to automatically delete files in the recycle bin after 14 days. Doing this will help your PC stay clean and it will also free up storage space, which helps games like CS2 run much smoother and with fewer problems. When you have finished changing all the settings, click the button that says Run Storage Sense Now to clean up your PC right away. If you do this regularly, your computer will stay fast and light without you needing to clean it by yourself every time. Step 2. Counter-Strike 2. Priority Registry Tweaks for Maximum Performance you can get all the files I use in the pack for my official website. I've provided the link in the description. For this step, go to the folder that is named Counter-Strike 2 Priority. Inside this folder, you will see registry files. These files help control how your CPU works when playing CS2. If you are using a low-end PC, then double-click the file named Normal Priority. If you are using a mid-range PC, then double-click the file named Medium Priority. If you are using a high-end PC, then double-click the file named High Priority. These registry tweaks tell your computer how much attention to give to the CS2 game. Picking the correct priority file for your PC will help your CPU work better and give you smoother gameplay and better responses while playing. Step 3. Maximize CPU performance by unlocking all processors. You can get all the files I use in the pack for my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, you will learn how to get the most performance out of your CPU using a program called Park Control. First, you need to install Park Control and then open the program. Once it is open, scroll through the options and choose a performance profile. Click on Bitsum Highest Performance so your CPU can work at full power. Then make sure the following settings are turned off and set to 100%. Parking AC, Parking DC Frequency, Scaling AC, Frequency Scaling DC. Now look for a setting called Bitsum Dynamic Boost and make sure it is turned on. This feature helps your CPU use less power when doing light tasks like browsing the internet, but gives full power when gaming. After that, go to your power options and select Bitsum Highest Performance. Also, check to make sure all the values are set to 100% for the best performance. Finally, click Make Active and then click Apply to save all the changes. Step 4. Use the MSI utility to optimize hardware performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack for my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Another tool that can help you boost performance is the MSI utility. This tool lowers latency and helps your hardware run more smoothly. After downloading it, open the program and look at the list of hardware that it shows. Find your graphics card, GPU, in the list and check the box under MSI. Then set Interrupt Priority to High for your GPU. Next, find your integrated GPU, like Intel HD graphics. Check the MSI box for it too, and also set its priority to High. After you have finished changing all of this, click Apply to save your settings, then close the program. Doing this helps reduce lag, makes your system respond faster, and improves gaming performance. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. 
optimizing system memory using ISLC program, the ISLC. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Intelligent Standby List Cleaner is a tool that helps clear up RAM to make your system run better. To begin, open the ISLC program and look at your total memory amount at the top of the window. Set the list size to half of your total memory. For example, if it shows 32,000 mb, you should type 16,000. If it shows 16,000 mb, type 8,000. Now tick the boxes that say Start ISLC Minimized and Launch ISLC on User Logon, so it will always run automatically. On the right side of the screen, turn on Enable Custom Timer Resolution and set it to 0.5 or Set the ISLC polling rate to 1000. If your system is very slow, change this number to 1000. After you finish setting everything, press stop, then start, and finally click on purge standby list. This step helps your RAM stay free and clean, which makes your games run smoother and reduces stutters. Step 6. Reduce keyboard input delay using filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Setter in this step, you are going to reduce the delay that sometimes happens when pressing keys on your keyboard. Open the Filter Keys Setter program. Inside the program, change the settings like this. Set Ignore Under to 0 milliseconds. Set Repeat Delay to 130 milliseconds. Set Repeat Rate to 10 milliseconds. Then check the small box on the right side to turn on these settings and click OK to save them. These settings will help your keyboard respond faster, which is very useful when playing fast-paced games like CS2. Step 7. Disable unnecessary startup apps. In this final step, you will stop apps from starting automatically when you turn on your computer. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESCE on your keyboard to open Task Manager. Go to the tab that says Startup. You will now see a list of apps that start when your computer turns on. Go through the list and look for apps you do not need to run at startup. Right-click on each app you don't need and select Disable. Doing this will help your PC start faster and it will give more system resources to CS2 and other games. If this full guide helped you, please click the like button, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more performance and optimization tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.